Good morning. Yes, it's Petrus and Pardet with your St. Lucia Experience morning beach walk. St. Lucia is nominated as Quella se Dorp van die Jaar competitie. Ons is baie trots daarop. Ek gaan glad nie eers probeer om jylle te oortuig om te stem nie. Jylle weet wat om te doen. Maar ek gaan aan die einde van die video vir jylle die Quella video opzet. En dan kan jy uit hulle perspektief uitsien hoekom jylle moet stem vir die dorp. As I said before, I made the videos in English so that the people that is hearing impaired can read the subtitles. I don't put the subtitles in, it's an automatic function from Google, from YouTube, and we are thankful for that. It makes the work much easier. I know the subtitles is not that accurate all the time because of my speech impairment and my grammatica. But at least the people can have a good idea of what is happening on a daily basis here in St. Lucia. Just listen to the bird songs. Here's a board that we can learn what tree this is. It's a dune false current. Water level update. Southeaster really pushed the water back in a northerly direction. The water levels has dropped substantially. But there's still a lot of water trapped on the Velozi floodplains that need to drain out, as well as water in the Ndebele Peninsula area that needs to drain out. Kukuyu is doing well, even post winter the reeds are still looking great, only the mangrove suffering. Apparently I'm the only one emotional about the mangrove suffering. So the video editor that I use has brought out an update that I can tether it through USB with my laptop, increasing the screen size of the editing area dramatically. Now I'm waiting to get back to Rich's Bay so I can get the bigger cart. Chris Veta sent me. I was supposed to be there last week already. But a friend had some personal issues that I tried to help him with. Unfortunately, I wasn't emotionally strong enough to help him with his personal issues. 
So he's moving on, finding a diff different destination for himself. And I am going to continue with my videos. Expelliate your lacquer. Was die 24 uur in die rondal of jou te erg. Trein de hal yesterday and most of Sunday. Most of sun, sunrise. It must have been very beautiful if I look at the clouds. Sorry about that guys. Bardet is enjoying the fresh rainwater. Het jy nou genoeg gehad? Nou kan jy nie meer rol nie, nie. As jy nou rol, gaan jy jou maag en jou longe met mekaar koek. En dit wil ons nie, nie. Pardet, Nia. Nia. Pardet. Structure and arrangement changed a lot here where we used to catch shad. It's much different now. So I would say the best shad fishing spot is here to the north and towards the boardwalk entrance. Not to the south, to the south. A serious sandbank has formed yesterday with the southeasterly and the rain. Very winkle shell, alikrekel sculp, very nice to eat, but you have to go all the way to first rocks to legally harvest them nowadays. Estremouth is still closed, but this channel is digging itself closer to the mouth. But we'll see now when we get to the front. See what's hidden behind, behind the sand here. Bulia, a plow snail. Put it back, cover it up, the ocean will come and relieve him just now. Jij gaat lekker stijf wees, ouwe vrouw. Jij gaat lekker stijf wees. Het is een lot van water. Een lot van water onder mijn feet. Dus so, ja, yeah, dit is een interessante development hier. Yeah. But I think we're moving towards neap tight again. When is the next neap tight? Beautiful bird party going on here. Yeah? But we can see, clearly see, that that dark patch over there where the birds is flying. It's another 20 meters or more that the sediment, ocean born sediment was washed into the estuary.
Now, I presume that that is not only dark because it's wet. I'm pretty confident it's because of the mixture between sea sand and bentonite. This sediment really made a mess of things. Wasn't it better to leave it where it was? I know it was a man-made sand dune that dredges spoils. But what is this different? What is this wall that was built different than a man-made sand dune? Still dredges spoils, ocean-born sediment, river-born sediment. Still dredges spoils manipulated by man putting it down here manipulated by man putting it up there I see no difference in that I've done this video many times before this shot this is a white muscle shelf and the hole drilled in it is by a bullia plow snail it, uh, the tummy acid of the bullia will eat through the white muscle shelf and the bullia will insert its tummy inside the white muscle and div divor it from the inside out. That's how bullia feed. Very rare and exceptional fiber. If that one is in one piece, my wife is going to love me a lot. A carry seashell found on the seashore of St. Lucia Estuary. I bring them for you to my dung. To level update, same as in the boardwalk, not much difference. Um, if the northeasterly starts blowing today, it might make a huge difference. But other than that, the south, the northwesterly starts blowing today. It will make probably make a lot of difference. The southeasterly didn't blow away a lot of water, so there must be water coming down from the Felosi floodplains draining into the estuary basin. I'm not sure. Thursday, 1 July 2020. 2021, sorry. The Bella Peninsula, Frankie Two Socks. I found this creepy crawly fella crossing the road. No idea what nationality he is, but you can see a matchbox for size. Let's just remove the matchbox and put it next to him again so you can keep a size in mind while he's crawling. Try and see if we can get a bit of ish. And you got a cell phone, so this is the best footage we can get. Prank you two socks. Enjoy your day. Bye. Sunday, 4 July 2021. Prank you two socks on the Nevada Peninsula. I'm just coming out to the lake to come and have a look at the water level. It's actually still pretty high. It's dropped a tiny little bit. The other day, I'll show you some uh, pics later on my blog. These trees here were just, just underwater now. They're just, just out of the water. But uh, also today, the south wind is up. And the south wind pushes the water all the way from Robbie's Crossing area, all the way around past uh, the point over there, and into the bay here. So the water level there does rise with this wind blows. It depends how strong and how long. Anyway, anywhere from a few millimeters too long. Over 400 millimeters per level can raise it. In like 20 minutes. So it's quite a bit scary, but that's what happens. Water moves a lot, the wind does. Anyway, Frankie Two Socks, the Bennett Peninsula, 
the old picnic site where the military used to have a missile base testing thing here. They used to test fire missiles from the area here. This used to be the relaxation area. And uh, said the water here used to, well not the water, this ground here used to go quite far because as I say it was a picnic spot. Anyway, Frankie two socks into the river we are A little bit overrun with the mud and the trucks and the tractors going here. Velosi River water level update with all the local lives. Rain we had didn't do much difference in the water level in the Velosi River.